Okay, welcome to Note Conference, Weather the Storm and Come Out Winning. So these are interesting times, my friends, and um, what I wanted to do is kind of put this group together and keep you guys, give you guys an idea of what we're doing to prepare for um, this second storm that we're going through. Uh, the first storm was kind of in slow motion back in 2008, 9, and 10. It just uh, came at us very slowly, this mortgage crisis that we went through back then. This time, this thing is hitting us like a freight train, and we expect to see some damage throughout the, uh, the market. But first, what I, I wanted to do is just introduce myself tell you a little bit about my company. I see that I've got some people in here that uh, I'm, I don't think I've ever uh, met. And um, so my name is Mike Rusica. I've uh, been a note investor since 2007, uh, investing in non-performing residential mortgages. I uh, have enjoyed this business immensely. Uh, we continue to do this business 13, 14 years later. And it's worked very well for us. It's been a great ride. Uh, my whole family is involved with this business. I've got so many investor friends that I've met through the years that have truly become uh, my friends. And it's been uh, an awesome ride. And here we are entering into another uh, period of distressed assets and distressed assets that I think are gonna be on fire sale as much as we've noticed back in the beginning uh, 2008. So it looks like we got a good crowd on here today. Uh, we do plan on doing these webinars every Tuesday at 2 p.m. And uh, just kinda give you an idea of uh, what we've been up to, what we see coming down the pike. And um, so I've got some notes here that's uh, stuff that I'd like to, I know that we've got some pretty experienced investors in here and I'm assuming that some people just are not investors yet. So what can we do now to weather the storm for this period uh, so that when we come out of this, this, lockdown, we'll be hitting the ground running and um, being able to take advantage of the, of the, of the, I think it was uh, Warren Buffett who said, never let a good crisis go to waste. So what in the world can we do with that? So, so I guess the first thing would be if you are an employee or have just gotten laid off, I would assume that what has worked before this is not gonna work after this crisis. Meaning your, your JLB that you have been going to for 15 or 20 years, if you got laid off now, you may want to consider becoming an entrepreneur and running your own business. And I've encouraged that with my children uh, they've had LLCs now for years. You know, they are thinking about write-offs. They're not thinking about W-2s and getting raises. They're looking for other types of investments that make sense for them. This is a great time if you are currently an employee to think about at least getting some type of part-time entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial position uh, by positioning yourself uh, in some, some type of um, self-employment. It's a perfect time for that. And probably the best thing that you could do is start associating yourself with people that are doing what you want to do. So where does that, what does that look like? Well, it all comes down to education. There is such a ton of good information on YouTube as far as whatever it is that you want to do, you can just pull that stuff down on YouTube now. If you haven't 
Um, please go to, let me see if I can quickly get this going here. If you'd like to join my YouTube channel, uh, we are constantly putting stuff in there. So here's my channel right here. It's Mike Russ. Uh, just go in there and subscribe to my channel. Um, I plan on bombarding YouTube with videos. Uh, this is the time for information to get out there to, if, to people. Everyone has a good story to tell. Everyone has good experience that they can share. I recommend the start of your entrepreneurial journey would be to start your own YouTube channel. It may seem like, well, maybe you don't have the self-confidence. Maybe you don't have the self-esteem to think that the information that you have is not good enough to share with anybody. It's just normal information. But let me tell you, everyone has some really good information that they can share with people. And this is a great opportunity to think about starting your, your YouTube channel. Uh, you can start right now. We are using zoom obviously. And with my zoom recording capabilities, I'm actually sitting in my office. Um, this behind me is a, a green screen and we're making recordings just doing this. Um, you can, the abilities to get your story out to the world is just amazing. It is, it, if this was 30 years ago, for us to go and make a recording and with, you're talking about TV studio and very expensive equipment, um, these days now you can, you can, you can pretty much make a living with your phone. You literally can make a living by this little device here and the capabilities, as long as they keep the internet up, we're good to go. And, um, so what the, the amount of reach that you can have the potential is, is unlimited. You can, you can get your, your word out to thousands of people. I mean, we put a video up two days ago and it's got like, I don't know, like a hundred views already. It's, it, that is just, and, and I, we literally just started this YouTube channel and uh, we've got a couple of hundred subscribers in there already um, and our reach is going to grow. So, so we're taking the, uh, this opportunity to build out all, all of these different facets just to get the word out. We don't even know what the word is yet, but let's just build these channels so that we can start communicating with people. We can start meeting more investors. We can raise capital. We can find more assets by knowing more and more people. So that's the first thing is become an entrepreneur and start building out these channels. Probably the most important thing is to become an expert in something, become an expert in some field, become an expert. For me, when I, when I got into the note business, I considered myself pretty knowledgeable compared to my peers about self-directed IRAs. Now there are people out there that would just blow me away as far as the information that they have, what they're doing with their self-directed IRAs. But I knew enough to tell 90% of the people out there that, hey, self-directing. And I, and I just picked that. I just happened to pick that because I had quit my job and I rolled over my 401k. It was the only money that I had. I rolled that over into a self-directed IRA, what little bit I did have. And I started investing in the note business with that money. And so self-directed IRAs were pretty important to me because that was pretty much my whole game. So I sat there night and day and scoured the internet and scoured the uh, FDIC, uh, the um, IRS.gov website to learn what you can and can't use your 
for your self-directed IRA for. And then I started telling people about it. And get these guys in too. Um, I started, I, I became this little expert at self-directing. And then I put the word out to my friends. And then I, I started becoming closer to these people. And then when it came time to, let's say, partnership, we, we would, these people knew me well enough that they were willing to partner with me. And my partnerships have, have been so intense with my actual business because of this little thing that I bothered to learn, which is self-directing. So what my point is to you is to, if you can become an expert during this period of lockdown, which we don't know how long that's gonna be, if they open the doors next week, it's gonna be a different story than if they open the doors next month or two months from now. So my advice would be, and what we are doing, is we are becoming experts in different fields. Right now, literally this week so far, I am working intensely on LinkedIn and I'm working intensely on YouTube. I want to know every moving part to these two channels. I've literally eliminated and deleted my Facebook account last night. I'm sick of it. It's taken up too much of my time. These, these little arguments that are out there, I'm done, done. <laughs> so delete your Facebook account, do yourself a favor and, uh, and, and get buried in some type of other channels that are much more productive. I've gotten so much out of my LinkedIn account. My first source of notes was from LinkedIn. LinkedIn is real. Those are real people out there and they're really looking for other people to connect with. And that's serious. Um, back in 2009, I put out in a group, if anyone knew of anyone that was working in a non-performing junior lean space. And some guy sent me a message. He says, as a matter of fact, I do. We are investing we have invested with a company and they work non-performing junior liens and they may be a source for you for product. So I called the guy up, this hedge fund, and he's like, I never thought I'd meet anybody else who is crazy as I am to be buying and investing in these junior liens. And so we formed a friendship and we started buying loans from that, that, from that source. Now the guy that I met on LinkedIn, I ended up giving him $3,500 in cash for giving me this contact. And he was thrilled. And I, I was thrilled too, because for the next five years, we had traded so many notes from this one hedge fund uh, that literally put me on the map. And it was from one connection on LinkedIn. So I'm, I'm putting all my focus and attention on LinkedIn now, and I want to get out there and source more product. I uh, believe that we are coming up on short-term product that's going to come from the hedge funds that have been over-leveraged and have paid too much for their assets. And these are the hedge funds that I have lost my bids to over the years because I just had too much competition. And it was pretty remarkable that um, some of the pricing that I saw take place while I was bidding on this product. And I said, man, if, if, if something ever happens, the stuff that they paid 70, 80, 90 cents on a dollar for they're going to get crushed. And little did I know that it would be a virus that would be that factor. But I'm assuming that I'm expecting that 
these funds will start to release product in the next two or three weeks, uh, I believe at an alarming rate. And we can be there to pick up the pieces. So, so that's why I'm focusing in on LinkedIn. Um, I want to also create YouTube videos to connect with bank sources. I, I want to make little three minute videos and get those over through LinkedIn, through some messaging, to figure this out. And through my LinkedIn contacts, give them a personalized three minute video of myself. Uh, it's, it's essentially what the purpose for this video today is to meet some people that I have not met yet. And uh, so, yeah, I want to get myself out there in front of as many contacts as I can. Uh, this is my time to, to get out into the world and, uh, and, and find some product for my friends. Um, Non-performing mortgages, brokering has been a big part of my income, like I said, since 2009, uh, over 10 years now. I love finding assets for my friends. I love even more hearing the stories of how they made so much money on the notes that I found them. And I like helping them perform their due diligence and really get to get an opportunity to partner with these people as well on some of this product. Uh, like I said, it's been the mainstay of, of my income and, uh, and my students as well, you know, uh, so let me tell you a little bit about Note Conference. Uh, I started Note Conference back in, I believe it was 2009 or 10, when I started brokering my notes. Um, I, I just picked the name Note Conference because we were doing conference calls and they were, it, was, it was strictly about notes and note investing. And I started probably my first conference call was about self-directed IRAs. And I invited my six friends on and I said, hey, I wanna show you what I'm doing with my self-directed IRA. I opened up my self-directed IRA account and I was using Equity Trust at the time. I showed them where the forms were on how to do a direction of investment to buy notes. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty, it seems pretty basic to me now, but at the time it, it was on, it was unspoken. It was, there was no information on it. And, um, so, so that was my first big webinar and it was scary, but it was awesome. And that's how, that's how note conference started. Uh, you can go to noteconference.com. Um, I do have an education program uh, on the note business. Uh, I'll get to that in a little while. I'm not here to sell anything here today. I'm here to get people to know who I am and what we are doing. Let me get this first thing too. Um, it's, uh, I love the note business. Um, I've introduced this business to so many people, some people that are actually on this call today. I'm passionate about it. Um, pr prior to uh, this COVID virus, uh, things were just sailing along kind of normal. Uh, we had some maybe seven or eight foreclosures going on. Uh, we start foreclosure on borrowers just to get them to wake up to the fact that, hey, we do have the right to foreclose. And it usually gets them into a state of performing loans with us. And that's what we're here for. We're here for multiple streams of income and cash flow. And so every note that we get performing turns into a stream of income. And we love, or we used to love going to the post office. Um, it's not so hot anymore. <laughs> now we go, now we're going just on Fridays. Um, our post office is very small. So it's a tiny little closet of a building. And um, so anyway, that's what 
that's what no conference is. We do have, like I said, a couple of education programs in there. I believe that notes are the best thing, the best form of investment out there um, for, for a minimal investment, let's say under $10,000. What I said um, is really the cost of a used car can turn into three or $400 a month in positive income, positive income, meaning I don't have to go out and buy a $200,000 rental to get $400 a month positive income above my expenses. I can turn $10,000 into $400 a month. I mean, that works. You know, that's, that's an incredible uh, feeling when you take these non-performing notes, you focus in on, like I said, uh, prior to the virus, we were focused in on eight notes. We had eight foreclosures going on. We had eight attorneys that we were dealing with. And we had three of them in some form of reperformance. And then all this happened. So, so we, we turned our attention now to, to the things that I'm talking to you about on this call today, uh, building out our um, channels or communication channels. Um, so let's see. So becoming an expert, learning your craft, and not thinking about going back to your job if you were employed. You can do this very simply by becoming an expert in, in one or several fields. Like I said, I love YouTube. I think that gets the most bang for its buck as far as, uh, as, as far as the um, amount of exposure that you can give yourself just by learning um, what my son is becoming an expert at right now, which is become, becoming an expert at keywording and titling. The title and the keywords to these videos is everything. And Combining that with LinkedIn, I believe that we can really get out there and and um, do some do some awesome connecting with other people. So the next thing you can do during this period of time is connect with people through whatever means you have to. Um, Start hanging out, hanging around with different people, uh, people that can, people that are getting the results that you want to, to get yourself. How do you do that? Well, um, through, I, I would assume through LinkedIn by actually creating a group. So let's say you wanted to start a group on non-performing note investing, uh, pick a title. Google on Google how to create a group on LinkedIn, in LinkedIn, start the group, and then you have the op option there to invite all of your connections or some of your connections. You can, you can pick and choose which ones to invite into the group. And now you're the leader of this group. You can put a video in there, anything under 10 minutes, which is awesome. I think that's fantastic. And then if you come up with a video, you put it into your, your group, and then everybody that's in that group gets an email saying, hey, Mike just put up a new video, go check it out. It's a fantastic way to, to get in touch with people and stay in touch with people. I've got I don't know, two or 3,000 connections now on LinkedIn, and I literally do not, these are all people that have connected with me. I do not go out searching. I, I just wasn't using LinkedIn correctly at all for years other than that one contact that I did make. Um, so I'm really gonna take advantage of that now. But connecting with people during this period is probably the most important 
because well look at look at what we're doing right now um you want to have connections and you want to be you want to be collaborating with people now so during this period of time we can actually get together in a collaboration and and prepare ourselves for for the coming months and i believe in the, the coming years of product that we're going to be seeing uh, going forward now the defaults that are happening now and going forward for the next six months we're not going to see that we're not going to see that product for another couple of years but i believe that hedge funds that like i said before hedge funds that have paid too much for their product up until now are going to start bleeding a little bit and releasing some of that paper just to keep their doors open and just to keep paying their investors um, and keep them to keep them happy. So I'm already starting to see an increase. Um, they are releasing two or three tapes a day. Um, so, so you've got a servicing company and they're working with, I don't know, 2000 clients, let's say. I have no idea how many clients they have. You got to figure that some of those clients are going to need some capital too. And especially if we're locked down for another two months or something, they're going to start selling, Hey, you know what? Let's get some of these non-performing notes out of my portfolio. I'm paying servicing fees. Um, and not, they're definitely non-performing. I'm just going to sell these things and, and let's just call it quits for a while with this note business until things cool off. Those assets are going to get released as well. And so you want to be prepared for this new product that's going to be coming out. How can you prepare? Well, like I said before, by meeting new people, by becoming an expert in the note space and learning and, and meeting people that are, that want to be passive investors with you so that you'll have enough capital to, to take these new assets down. Um, that's what we're focusing in on now. We're meeting more people. I, I was on the phone with someone on Sunday. Uh, he's a, a good guy. He's got 2 million bucks and he says, if you find something even bigger, uh, his, his best buddy has got 10 million bucks. So that was very reassuring to hear that. And so I'm more motivated than ever to go out and find some product. Very motivated. I, I am excited to to think that hey you know things were just chugging along great prior to this um and now we've got this opportunity to first tool up for and prepare for what's what's about to, to happen so change the people that you associate with you know you are the average of the five people that you hang out most with um, back in the old days i was working in a machine shop and all the machine shop folks that in that building those were my friends those are the people that i associated with those are the people whose um impression was on, was on me and if they were a little bit negative then i was probably a little bit negative too um, I'm very careful now who I spend my time with and it's really paid off because I've attracted some amazing people into my life. Once I got into this note space, uh, some of those people are on this call today and some of these people that are on this call, I do not know, but, um, hopefully this will be kind of an introduction, uh, one-sided introduction and hopefully we'll get the opportunity to, to do some business together down the line. So pay attention to who you're spending time with, who you're sharing ideas with, and be, be careful of the material that you are absorbing. Um, in the very beginning days of this uh, crisis, I, I was just stuck to, the, stuck to the TV and stuck to the channel, a news channel, um, with my chin on the desk, like going, what is going on here? Um, I've had some 
close friends of mine negatively affected by this virus and uh, most of them made it out, uh, which, is, which is awesome. Uh, we did lose a few uh, relatives, which was horrible because they ended up spending time alone, but I don't want to get into that too much. But I really was not careful with the information that was coming in, I was letting into my head uh, until I caught myself. And like I said, I, it just, I, had to, I had to turn the corner and realize, hey, you're just, you're just wasting time, man. This is the time you should be, you should be kicking ass here. And you're just sitting here like a, like a, in a, a zombie in a trance. So uh, I got got the kids together, and they're like, "Hey, let's do a webinar. Let's start doing weekly webinars." Like, you know, we've got this uh, Note Conference fast track thing going. We've got forty people in there. We're doing that Thursday night call. Let's do a call on on Tuesday, um, and we'll do it during the day. I don't think I've ever done a webinar during the day, and I'm like. Why does this feel so weird? I'm like, because it's still light out. Usually it's uh, eight o'clock at night or something. Uh, but everybody's home and everybody's got time to be on a webinar as long as they're not out first responders. Uh, for those people, this is being recorded. So um, be able to get that out to them too. But, but this is the time to think big. You know, there's, there's so much conversation out there about the PPP and which is awesome because you got to keep our employees going. Uh, it's talk of this $1,200 check that I haven't seen yet. Um, and people have focused on that, but what you guys need to focus on is thinking big. What's the big picture? How is this, how can I, how can I up my game by tenfold? You know, you hear this Grant Cardone 10 X in your game. Well, this is the time to do that. You can do that by associating with different people, by finding new sources of product, by finding new sources of capital, by, by just thinking big and saying, hey, I could, I could blow up my LinkedIn channel. I can blow up my YouTube channel and, and get the word out there that, hey, I've got this fantastic business called the non-performing note business. And let's, let's get this thing going. Uh, this is the time to do it. And so, Change the people that you're hanging out with. Uh, look for new people. There are amazing networks out there. Um, I belong to, and I think some people that are in this call are actually belong to uh, people on the fi uh, Financial Friends Network. Go find somebody that is in that network and you can get a recommendation from them to join that. I think there's 3,200 people in there or something. They're all into self-directed IRAs, which means they all probably have an account, or at least a good portion of them do, and they probably got some money in there. And find those people, become an expert at in the note business, and, um, and take that. So, what you would these, these notes that I that I put um, as far as helping other people. I find I make the most money when I'm helping other people. My first trade um, that we bought 54 notes, there was, you know, there was uh, five people total, six people total. I found that, that one connection on LinkedIn. Um, he said that he could sell us some notes at 20 cents on a dollar uh, for the unpaid principal balance. We put our money together. We came up with $350,000 and we bought 54 notes. Uh, it's 50, I think it was 54. And we bought those notes. I orchestrated the whole thing. Everybody, collateral files came. I inventoried all those notes. I made sure I saw the exceptions, things that there were missing. I went back to the seller and got the missing assignments or whatever we were looking for, uh, launches and everything. And my buddy goes, you know, that was pretty cool, Mike. You could probably make money doing that next time. And I'm like, really? I just didn't even occur to me that what I had done was that I had brokered some notes. 
and everybody got their collateral files and everything. And, and the only thing I asked for was the first person that gets paid off buys, takes me out to dinner. And uh, so my buddy Tony goes, Mike, I just got paid off. We're going to Red Bank. We're going to dinner. And uh, so that was my big, my first brokering deal. I, I ended up with a meal. Um, you know, we'll work for food. Um, so I make the most money when I help other people. Uh, since then, I brokered, I don't know how many notes out to how many different people. And uh, I've made a lot of friends by, by brokering notes out to people because you make more friends that way. Um, people, you know, they, they see a value to you. And, um, and so the, it's, it's really worked out well. So figure out how you can help other people, especially during this time. Uh, get yourself a Zoom account. Get yourself um, some type of email account. Uh, I use a thing called Realty Motor. Um, I've had that account now for, I think, about nine years. And I've got a 1,000 people that I email out to, or about 950. Some of you are on my list already. Uh, that's how you found out about this webinar. Uh, we've got 40 people on this call right now. I think, I think about 30 of you guys came from my email list and another 10 from... Uh, LinkedIn or something. So get an email list and start talking to people. Start assemble. Like I said, in the very beginning, I had five other people that I was associated with in the note space. Uh, we were all equal players and we didn't know much, but we knew enough to talk to each other. We knew enough to hang out with each other. We knew enough to know that we were onto a good thing. And then I started no conference and I started doing webinars instead of just conference calls. Uh, in the very beginning, we were using freeconferencecall.com. My mentor was using that. And then we switched over to free webinar, free something, um, freewebinar.com or something. And that's when we started using uh, this type of, of software. Open an account, invite your five friends on there and talk to them about what you're working on to, that, that is going to help them educationally, and it may be self-directing. Um, it worked out well for me, and uh, it provided capital for the deals as well. And um, so that, that really worked out great, and it's something that you guys can do right now. Uh, so I've got two more things I wanted to cover here. All right. So, Julie, are you on? Hi, can you hear me? Hey, kiddo, how are you? Good, how are you guys? Great. Good. So, what did you, what did you want me to cover? Uh, well, so, um, you did already cover the fact that we're going to be doing these webinars weekly at this time. Um, and then the other thing I was hoping to cover was the promotional uh, coupon code for the Fast Track Premium. Yeah, okay, so, so what we have put together, we put together three different programs, uh, three different entry levels. Um, what, what we do now is we meet on Thursday nights with Fast Track Business. Uh, you can find these on the website. And Fast Track Business, we are talking the note business. It's a, it's a year-long program. Uh, there's, I think there's 70 videos in that or 60 or 70 videos with the training modules. And then we're literally talking, talking through deals, we're working on live assets on those calls. We are partnering up together with deals and, uh, it's a fantastic program. It's probably the coolest program I've ever seen out there. And then we have no, uh, no Conference Fast Track Starter, which is five of our videos. And it just, it's a very low entry just to give the students an idea of what they can expect with the, with the business program or what they can expect with the premium program. The premium program is all of the training videos. 
but it does not include the Thursday night calls. Um, so my daughter came up with the idea to say, you know what, for, for this crowd, how about we offer them a 50% discount on the premium level only? Um, if you use the coupon code weather the storm, all one word, all capitals on the platform, we'll send you an email to remind you of what that comfort, that code is. Um, that'll be a 50% off code for the first 15 people. Um, I've never done anything like that before, but we want to get the word out. We want to get you guys to be successful note investors as quickly as possible so that we can hit the ground running when they open the gates up. Uh, I believe that the gates are already starting to open. I know that I've got a, um, I've got a couple of, of actual, um, I guess they're, they're brokering um, outfits that are that have, are starting to gear up and starting to get more product in. Um, I'm, I've started to hear from from two different brokering companies, and so that's exciting. Um, that means that it's it's starting. And um, so I look forward to your success. I look forward to having you guys on, on next Tuesday. And um, if you do have any questions or suggestions or topics that you would like us to cover, um, go ahead and send an email to uh, Julie at noteconference.com and we'll get those answered. Um, she's, she's handling a lot of this uh, front end stuff for us over here and doing a great job. And uh, we look forward to your success and we look forward to you staying healthy. So I appreciate everyone being on here today. Uh, we do have this call recorded. Uh, we will make this available to every participant and um, we look forward to working with you guys. All right, so have a great, great night and um, we'll see you next week.